Recently, a Ning user community member asked me how you can use Sprout Builder to create mouse over effects that display text. While this isn't natively available, you can actually do a workaround using the button component. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So, the first thing you need to do is create two different states. So there's the mouse over state and then the mouse up state. And those two states, in this case, I went into Photoshop and created a 150 pixel by 150 pixel image. Um, and it's got two different, and I'm going to save two different versions of it. One where it's just the strawberries, and the other where it's got the text with the strawberries. And then after that, I'm going to come into Sprout Builder. I have a project called Toppings. And in this project, I'm going to add some text. Toppings, just for added effect to show you what I'm working on here. Here's my toppings page. I'm going to add a button component. And this button component is actually going to have no fill. No fill. No fill. No fill on all the states so that the button actually is completely invisible. No border either and no text. So now essentially you have an invisible button. And what I'm going to do is add the up state, which is the default state, with the default strawberry image. Click Save. I actually need to change the size to 150 pixels by 150 pixels. Okay, now here's my topping. Now, what about the mouse over state? So I come over to um, mouse over which is hover. Come in here, add the overstate. Click save. Now when I preview this, actually let me just publish it one second here. Publish. I'm going to view the seed page where I can see the live sprout. When I mouse over, strawberries appears. And this could be a link to somewhere, this could um, link to another page, etc. So that's how you can do a workaround to have text appear when um, someone mouses over your content. Thanks for watching.